guys, Chance here from Reparadise. Wanted to show you a quick little tour on this outdoor RV we did out here. Check it out. So we did a full Victron uh, install on this guy, Multi Plus 2. And we maxed out the factory solar setup with 510 watts of ZAMP. So we can take a quick peek. So we did the install in the storage bay here. Uh, you can see we've got the Multi Plus 2 on its side back there, and then uh, our 150 solar controller mounted on the wall next to it with all its supporting components right in there. And if we jump inside here and take a look at the battery bank. So up under the bed, we removed one drawer over here, and then we were able to slip uh, 400 amp hours of Life Blue lithium batteries underneath the bed, and we got room for actually two more. So we could go all the way up to 800 if warranted or needed. This client has an onboard generator, so it's probably not super necessary to have massive capacity, but he didn't want to have to rely on the generator all the time. We come over here for this setup, we're using the Victron Servo GX with the Touch 50 controller. Um, so it gives you a really nice heads up display of what your power system's doing on everything you got going on in your coach. Another really nice feature of the Servo is you can connect it to the internet. You could have remote monitoring uh, via Victron, uh, VRM. So you can see your system anywhere in the world with internet connection, which is a pretty cool setup. Uh, especially if you have your coach in storage and you want to keep an eye on things or if you rent it out for Airbnb or something like that. But yeah, so that's a pretty slick setup there. You can see we got 123 watts of solar coming in and it's kind of cloudy and it's January. So sun's pretty low in the sky. 99% state of charge. And we can go over here and we'll fire up the microwave. You can see the inverter start pulling some power on that screen over there. You can see our solar and battery is redirecting to the inverter to supply power for the loads. Like I mentioned, this is a multi-plus inverter. All the Victron multi-plus and Quattro's are full pass inverters. So what that means is shore power and generator power both go directly to the inverter and then the inverter passes that power through to the loads as well as you can use a feature power assist so we can adjust our current limit setting on our shore power or generator so we can only pull say 10 amps and we don't overload a standard outlet on your garage or something like that and then anytime you exceed that load like firing up your microwave uh, we'll meet that power demand with the batteries to supplement the, the existing power, or the remaining power. Um, so yeah, pretty slick setup. There you can see the generator starting up and we got power coming in. And we're pushing that power to the batteries. And then if we fire up our microwave, you'll see your AC loads jump up there we're still powering all from the generator at this point. So we're still getting a charge on our batteries. If we were to come over here and adjust our current limit, and go back and we'll see, we actually switch to assisting there. Fire that back up. So this is showcasing the power assist feature where we're only pulling 933 watts from the generator or shore power. And then we're using additional 27 amps or 400, 400-ish watts from the batteries to meet the AC loads. Shut her down. On the roof, we got uh, three ZAMP 170 panels for a total of 510 watts. So we're just using the factory setup right now. It's just got a, a ZAMP port on it. We could upgrade that if the client wanted more, but with the onboard generator on this rig, we didn't see a need to, to really go crazy on the solar. Um, so it's, a really solid setup just keeping at that 510 watts save a little cost on the on the solar side take a peek at the roof oh looks like david left some trash on the roof we have to clean that off so you can see we got three 170s there with plenty of room to expand. So if the client uh, wants to add more, we definitely can. We will have to upgrade uh, the wire run up to the roof. But luckily on these outdoor RVs, that's actually pretty simple to do. If they ever want to add more solar, it's definitely an option.
Yeah, if you got any questions about the install, feel free to hit us up. We'd be happy to answer them, give you some ideas on pricing and all that. And uh, yeah, be stoked to work on another one.